The Plano City Council is considering new rules for short-term rentals, including a temporary ban on them. The council heard from people against the rentals and from some owners who blame a few bad owners. In, in DC, in DC, you can only do it ninety days a year. In, in DC, you can only do it ninety days. Does anybody know why they banning this stuff in Plano City, man? In DC, they only do it for ninety days. They only do it for ninety days a year. Can anybody tell me, man? <laughs> why they ban? Why they ban the short term rentals in Plano? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. But the Plano City Council is considering new rules for short-term rentals, including a temporary ban on them. The council heard from people against the rentals and from some owners who blame a few bad owners. But a real vote could be months away. Fox Force Stephen Dow was at tonight's council meeting. Stephen. Steve, tonight was the first time that you virtually heard unanimous council members talking about their support for a temporary ban. Now, today, city staff updated the public saying that there's nearly 400 active short-term rentals in the city of Plano, and they're still collecting data. City leaders understand that people want an outright ban, but they say they are weighing their legal options. Now, dozens of people showed up to speak today. Things really came to a head in the fight to ban short-term rentals uh, when about two weeks ago, gunfire erupted in the normally quiet Oakwood Glen. Uh, gunfire erupted, man. That would make sense. <laughs> we have an eruptions of gunfire, man. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> Think about if you done bought some properties, right? Like a little town like Plano City where property is pretty cheap, man. Like you can buy a house for fifty thousand dollars, put another fifty thousand in it, and you know, make a good make some good money, you know, Airbnb in it. You in the Dallas area, people coming into Dallas, they can get an Airbnb in Plano and then you know, drive into Dallas and do what they gotta do. You make a lot of money with Airbnbs in the suburbs of these cities, man. Listen, man, it's people going around buying up these properties and turning them into Airbnbs, man. And then a bunch of sun men have some shootings and then the shit, and then the city say, all right, that's it. And that sucks, man. That sucks, man, for those people, man. Nicholas Howell, who are you, man? Nicholas Howell? Well, once. Hey. What's up, man? Hey, I, uh, I'm, from, uh, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, and I've been watching your videos for about... Uh, two or three months, and I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, wow. Salute to you, man. Um, You're a big fan of mine, man. That's great. A few months, man. Okay. Hey, man, that's good, man. Salute. Yeah. We're going to Memphis tonight, too, man. Memphis, man. Yeah. A lot, yeah. A lot of good stuff out here. Yeah, man. It, 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 I'm sure, man. The sun, um, the sun man is um keeping Memphis, um, you know, Keeping Memphis at the top of um Op Nation's list, man. Um let's see though. Gunfire today, right. things really came to a head in the fight to ban short-term rentals uh, when about two weeks ago gunfire erupted in the normally quiet Oakwood Glen uh, neighborhood in Plano. Multiple gunshots and one bullet went through the home of a woman who has a three-year-old child. That bullet went through the window of their front of their house where that three-year-old child's playroom is. Now, according to city data, last year, the police department got nearly 150 911 calls for service responding to 60 properties. One short 151 911 calls for service to 60 Airbnb properties. Who you think's responsible for that? 
You can only wonder, you know. Do you think it's these people that are at the town hall meeting complaining about it? <laughs> uh, I'm going to take an educated guess and say no. that three-year-old child's playroom is now according to city data last year the police department got nearly 150 911 calls for service responding to 60 properties one short-term rental owner told the council a majority of the calls are allegedly for repeat problem properties i don't sleep i'm fearful I'm anxious as each passing day brings the possibility of an out of control party at the property or any other properties. Okay. <laughs> Who parties? Everyone parties. Everyone parties. That's not a sun thing. Everyone parties. I've been around, I've been to glider parties. Oh my God. I've been to frat parties. I mean, I don't, I think Gladys parties are more out of control. But no one, no one gets shot. Maybe someone will get beat up, but if they fall down, the fight's over. Like if, the, if the white guy hits the other white guy, and he falls down, like it's over. No stomping in the head, none of that shit. Even, even the fight <laughs> is a very civil exchange, you know? <laughs> There's rules. And that's yeah, and those are really ha rarely happen. Um, a, a, dr a drunk girl may, you know, get allegedly, you know, date raped, but you know, we all know the sides on that half the time. But nothing's really gonna happen, man. But they'll be they'll be taking shrooms, LSD, keggers, standing on their head. With beer bongs and shit. <laughs> Doing all type of crazy shit. It's only one group where the party affects the whole community and people might die. Who would that be? I don't know. I need to I'm gonna get the chat to help me out on that one. Allegedly for a repeat problem properties. I don't sleep. I'm fearful. I'm anxious as each passing day brings the possibility of an out of control party at the property or any other properties surrounding us. My daughter asks me almost daily, are the bad guys coming back? Why would someone shoot our house? It's for her children growing up. That's heartbreaking. Her daughter asks her daily, are the bad guys coming back? Why would someone shoot our house? Well, let me tell you. Let me tell her little daughter, little um, little Ombrita, um, they weren't shooting your house. They were shooting at somebody um, that they were mad at, and they just didn't care about, you know, they were mad, and so they didn't give a fuck where the bullets went. And then the bullet hit your house. So they weren't shooting at your house, little Ombrita. Um, so don't take it personally. My daughter asks me almost daily, are the bad guys coming back? Why would someone shoot our house? It's for her children growing up, for safety, walking your dog down the block, not worrying about being shot at by random strangers who can- What random stranger did it? Uh, again, I'm telling you, let me tell you, um, white lady. <clears throat> um, they're probably not shooting at you. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> You can't always assume that uh, since, since 2020. But most of the time, they're shooting at somebody else and the bullet just hits you. Okay? So stop being so arrogant to think that we're actually shooting at you. Goddamn pompous bitch. It's for children growing up. For safety, walking your dog down the block. Not worrying about being shot at by random strangers who can rent a house for one night for a party and have no care now, the process from Plano City Council has been to have city staff make a proposal that gets in front of them in their April meeting. That's April 10th. They're also, again, like we mentioned, talking about the possibility of a temporary ban, and then they want to have a cooling off period. They're trying to basically mirror what Arlington did uh, of having a ban. Also, Arlington County also... <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, Arlington City also um banned Airbnbs. Wow, man. You know, I just want to know what stranger did this. Oh, you talking about you want to know um what kind of stranger it was? Yeah. What, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Like, was I mean, he tall? Was he short? You know, was it? Listen, <laughs> these people right here, man, these people know better, man. Like, if they mentioned the stranger, this news story would have been today at a Plano Cal City Council meeting. Uh, a white, an evil white lady <laughs> made a racist comment. That would have been the story. We wouldn't even have known that it was a battle show to reference. So thank you for not saying that because we, so we at least know what's going on. And then a cooling off period to give those short term rentals uh, time to still live out basically the reservation that they have made. One council member floated a six month cooling off period. They would have to have this in the terms of the rules by zoning. And so there is also a consideration of having a joint meeting in May, the first week of May, so that if they vote, they won't have to go through two processes by having a zoning vote and a city council vote. They will have a simultaneous vote. And so. All right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, man. Um, it's getting rough out there, man. It's getting rough, man. Uh, 